Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at water pollution in the UK. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. The quantity of water is important, but the quality of that water is also really important. So we're going to start off by thinking about how we monitor water quality across the UK. Well, the Environment Agency is in charge of doing this job, and it does it in a number of ways. It regularly monitors river water quality, and when it is needed, it will remove sediment through a filtration process or will add chlorine to purify water. It also has strict regulations on water use, including restrictions on recreational use of water sources. So, for example, no power boats on certain reservoirs. It will also impose fines on those who pollute water sources. In 2021, Southern Water was fined £90 million for repeatedly and deliberately dumping raw sewage. Between 2010 and 2015, it had unleashed around 21 billion litres of untreated sewage into local waterways and is continuing to discharge waste today. Despite this monitoring, pollution has caused a deterioration of groundwater sources across the UK. The main causes are chemical runoff and raw sewage. So let's start off with looking at chemical runoff in a bit more detail. Chemical fertilisers and pesticides used in agriculture have runoff into waterways. This causes around 40% of all water pollution in England. This leads to the process of eutrophication, which cause algae blooms, which then take huge amounts of oxygen in waterways. So there is far less for other species. There are no rivers in England that are considered to be in good chemical health currently. This has an impact on marine wildlife. For example, many freshwater fish species are in decline. But it also has a risk for human health, particularly as rivers and lakes are used for recreation. Open water swimming and paddle sports have increased in popularity in recent years, but those who take part have a risk of being exposed to chemicals which can affect their health. Let's move on to raw sewage. Untreated sewage is released by water companies on a daily basis. This causes 35% of water pollution in England. The UK has a combined sewerage system, which means that rainwater and wastewater from toilets, sinks, showers, etc. are carried in the same pipes to a sewage treatment works. However, during heavy rainfall, the capacity of these pipes can be exceeded, causing the inundation of sewage works and possible widespread flooding. So at these times, there is an overflow system, which means excess wastewater can be discharged into seas and rivers. This is called combined sewer overflows. If this is done during heavy rainfall, then the sewage will be diluted by the rain. However, there are some water companies that have been accused of dumping raw sewage when it's not raining, and this is illegal. A report from Surface Against Sewage Water in 2023 highlighted that raw sewage discharges entered our waterways 399,864 times during that year, and that there were over 18,000 real-time sewage and pollution alerts in that same period. As a result, 60% of popular swimming sites do not meet minimum safety requirements. Sewage can contain many disease-causing microorganisms, including viruses, bacteria and parasites, and these have led to a sharp rise in waterborne illnesses in the UK. So what are the health risks of sewage? Well, firstly, we have gastrointestinal infections such as diarrhoea, vomiting and stomach cramps, and a fever can also be caused by salmonella and E. coli. We also have viral infections such as gastroenteritis, which can be caused by norovirus from contaminated water. We can have respiratory illnesses such as lung and airway infections, which have been caused by inhaling sewage droplets. Skin problems such as eczema or rashes can be caused by contact with contaminated water. And repeated or prolonged exposure to sewage can also lead to long term health issues such as digestive and respiratory symptoms and irritation of the nose, throat, and skin. 
Raw sewage in our waterways has had an impact on several sporting events over the last couple of years. Let's start off with the Oxford Cambridge boat race in March 2024. Before the race, high levels of E. coli were detected in the Thames at Putney at Mortlake. This is a stretch of the river where the event takes place. As a precaution, crew members were warned not to swallow water and to protect themselves by covering up all exposed scratches, cuts and grazes. They were also told that the tradition of the winning team throwing their cocks into the water was not allowed to go ahead. They should lift them into the air instead. However, despite these precautions, three members of the Oxford team went down with a strain of E. coli. In 2023, the Sunderland World Triathlon Competition took place at Roker Beach. Water testing that was carried out three days before the race showed dangerously high levels of E. coli in the water. In fact, the levels were 39 times higher than the reading taken in July a month earlier. The cause of this excess bacteria was identified as a large sewage dumping that had occurred in Whitburn, which is two kilometres north of Roker Beach. 57 swimmers came down with sickness and diarrhoea following the event. And there are, of course, other causes of water pollution that we just need to mention quickly. Runoff from roads and towns which contain pollutants such as oil, This causes 18% of water pollution in England. We also have chemicals from old underground mine workings which have been leached into waterways. We've got industrial sites that discharge waste into waterways. Power stations that release the water used in the cooling process back into waterways. We've got poorly maintained septic tanks and inadequate plumbing which causes sewage to run into the rivers. And finally, we have microplastics, which are tiny pieces of any kind of plastic debris, like the ones that you can see on the screen, which are often found in our drinking water supplies and the fish that we eat. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on water pollution in the UK. Thank you for watching.